So today we're going to make potato skins, queso blanco cheese dip, boneless chicken wings, bone-in chicken wings, mozzarella sticks, beef nachos, and an extra one, a potato cream dip that we'll make with our leftover potato stuffing. All right, let's go. This time I'm starting the timer at two minutes because we're going to get most of our ingredients while we prep. The two minutes is for the potato selection. I wanted to pick similar sizes. First, we get our oven to 400 and throw our mozzarella sticks in the freezer so that they can hold while we fry them. We need to wash our potatoes thoroughly since we are eating the skins. Once clean, we poke them with a fork enough to pierce the skin. Then we rub them with vegetable or avocado oil. Then we throw them in the oven for an hour. In the meantime, we'll gather and prepare our ingredients, including garnishes. We'll dice our tomato for our nachos, chop an onion for our ground beef and nachos, scallions for the potato dip and potato skins, a bit of lettuce for our nachos, garlic for our potato dip and ground beef, cilantro for nachos and whatever else we want to garnish. You can sup with parsley if cilantro tastes like soap to you. And finally, we'll chop some pickled jalapenos and reserve a couple of tablespoons of that brine for our queso. Now we get our ground beef ready. Add some olive oil, pan got a little too hot here. Throw in some onions and saute them. After a few minutes, add more oil, then our garlic. Finally, our ground beef. We cook this until it gets brown and drain off any excess oil. My beef got a little too overdone here. Now we season with salt, cumin, chili powder, pepper, some pepper flakes, paprika, some seasoning salt, and finally some Italian spices or oregano. We mix and combine well, then set it aside. Now with 25 minutes remaining on our potatoes, we prepare our bacon. Get some parchment paper on a baking sheet and lay our bacon on it. I believe this is the best way to cook bacon. You don't know what you're missing until you try it this way. Now we throw them in with our potatoes and pull them out at the same time, giving the bacon about 20 minutes to cook. In the meantime, we prepare our breading for our boneless wings and mozzarella sticks. Throw in about a cup of flour, an egg, breadcrumbs. Here I use panko, but you can use regular. Add some seasoning salt, pepper, same for the crumbs. Add about a cup of water to the egg to thin it out a bit. I add a granulated garlic and onion to the egg to rehydrate them. You can also use the powder form. I added some Italian seasoning to the breadcrumbs and now we mix and incorporate it all. We put it aside and get our boneless chicken breading ready. For our chicken, about a cup and a half of flour, quarter cup of cornstarch, salt, cayenne pepper, paprika, granulated garlic, granulated onion, seasoning salt, and fresh pepper. Now we add two eggs and about a half a cup of water. Mix and set aside as well. Now we're going to get our wings ready. We'll trim off the tip and set it aside for your stock like everyone on YouTube says, but really throws them away. I personally use them for treats for my pup. Anyway, we now separate the flat from the drumette at the joint. You can feel with a knife and slide through. Now we cube our chicken breast to make our boneless wings. We season with salt, cayenne pepper, fresh pepper, paprika, granulated garlic, seasoning salt, granulated onion, and we mix it all up and put them in the fridge. Now we'll get our queso going and leave it on low heat to hold. We'll start by cutting our white American cheese into cubes. The best will be Lando Lakes Extra Melt, but if you can't find it, you can use Valdita, I guess. Now we start warming up the milk. The ratio is 2 to 1 to cheese, so I put about 8 ounces of milk, which in turn will need about 16 ounces of white cheese. To season, we use cayenne pepper, cumin, onion, garlic, a couple of inches of salt, and we add our chopped pickle jalapenos with its juices. Remember to lower the heat to very low. We don't want to burn this. Now we add our cheese a couple of cubes at a time and stir it until it all melts. At this point, we have restaurant quality queso. At this point, we're done, but you can add some ground beef for added flavor and texture. This will darken our queso though, but that's okay. This tastes phenomenal. Now we taste and adjust seasoning. 
Now we let it sit warm in low heat until we need it. Now we remove the bacon and place it on napkins to drain. We pull out our potatoes and test for doneness. We poke them through the skin and if it goes in smoothly, they're done. Now we drop our oven temp to 350 and let the potatoes sit for about 10 minutes for better handling. Now I like to pressure cook my wings because they stay juicy on the, in the inside and I use the broiler to crisp them up. Here I added trivet and a colander for easy removal. Added a cup of water, dumped the chicken and cooked for about 8 minutes. You can also use frozen wings, which is what's probably left in stores now if you wait until Saturday. Anyway, just do the same but cook them for 14 minutes. You can season them afterwards. While the wings are going, our bacon should be cool enough for us to chop up for our potato skins, queso, nachos, breakfast, midnight snack, a beer. Okay, I'm just saying this. Bacon. Next, we'll prepare our potato skins by cutting them in half and with a spoon, carefully scooping out the flesh, leaving about a quarter inch all around. Now we'll prepare our potato cream dip. You can warm the potatoes in the microwave for about a minute if they cool down. They break down better warm. Okay, add milk, cream cheese, make a mess by mixing it in a small bowl, curse at the world for being an idiot as your pup rushes in to eat what fell off the floor, yell at her to get out of the kitchen, try to use a fork, add garlic, some scallions, cayenne pepper, try to mix with the fork again, give up, try the mixer again to remind yourself that you're an idiot, consider throwing the whole thing in the trash out of frustration, look all around the kitchen as your eyes water, then realize that you clean the bowl where the wings were and transfer them and now go to town on them with the mixer until smooth. Add a pinch of salt and transfer it to an oven safe dish. All I had for this amount was a cast iron skillet which worked. Top with cheddar cheese, bacon and throw in the oven with a camera that's out of focus and now realize it until you're editing the video and your family has eaten most of the stuff. We leave it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. Next we start our basic hot sauce. Don't do what I did and throw it in the hot ass pan. Put it in a warm pan. Sauce splatter everywhere. It's okay in the restaurant but no need for it at home. We add our butter and mix it all up and heat it through. Now we take our chicken out of our instant pot, throw in way too much sauce. It was supposed to be half but I made sure I put it all in. The other half was supposed to be for the boneless wings. Anyway, toss them around and we cover and set aside for about 15 minutes. If you're frozen, you can go ahead and season them before tossing them in the sauce. We now heat up our frying oil to 350 just before breading our boneless wings. We put them in our wash, mix it all around ensuring that they get all coated. Then we transfer them to our dry mix. Now make sure to roughly spill your now infested salmonella egg wash on your cutting board and make sure that all your chicken is coated in flour. Now we bring them over to our fryer. Shake off any excess flour and gently dump them in one at a time, making sure not to crowd the pan and lower the oil temp too much. After about 6 minutes, we take them out and put them in a bowl with paper towels to drain. While still keeping our camera out of focus, we go ahead and remove our potato cream dip and set it aside. Now we set up our nachos. Here I have a commercial grade plate, but you can use a cookie sheet or skillet that can go in a 350 degree oven. We lay our tortillas, add our overcooked ground beef and some cheddar cheese, any cheese will do. I just have too much of this stuff. Then we stick it in the oven for about 3-4 to four minutes for the cheese to melt. In the meantime, we toss our boneless wings in the other half of our sauce of which I had none of. I had to make more. We drop our oven to 170 degrees F to hot hold our food. I added about 3 cups of water to a mug which can handle the heat to keep our stuff from drying out. You can use an oven safe pan or a coffee mug. I transfer all our bone in and boneless wings and our potato dip. Now we take our frozen mozzarella out of the freezer, cut them in half. You don't have to but I did and we flour, egg wash, and breadcrumb them. I didn't show it here, but do squeeze them with the breadcrumbs to ensure they get well coated. We drop them in a 325 degree fryer for about 20 seconds, just enough to brown them. Place them in a paper towel to drain and transfer them to the hot holding oven at 170 or 150, however low your oven goes. Now we assemble our potato skins. Place them in an oven sheet rack. I put aluminum foil to ease the cleanup. I forgot to salt and pepper them. Do so. I did it at the end, but it's not the same. It's preferably added them before the cheese. Okay, we add cheddar cheese and bacon. Here I place my wings, but you can use a separate sheet. Now empty out the oven, cool your oven on broil high, and place the tray at the top rack for about three to four minutes or until the cheese melts. You can leave the wings in if they need more time, but keep an eye on the skins and take them out before the bacon burns. You can also flip the wings and broil them for another 3-4 to four minutes just until the skin crisps up. 
If you're willing to risk it, start plating or wait until the skins and wings are done. I think it's best to wait. Okay, time to start plating. We garnish the potato skins with scallions and sour cream. Our nachos with onions, tomato, cilantro, bacon, lettuce. Squeeze some lime juice and add some of the cheese dip or queso. We add scallions to our potato dip and place some chips on top or on the side. And we serve the queso with some chips. We can also serve some marinara sauce for our cheese sticks and blue cheese for our wings. Like I said, you can do this in two days. You can bake and cut the potatoes the day before, prepare your queso, just reheat it on low, and stir constantly until smooth. The potato cream dip can also be prepared ahead of time and baked the day of. Chicken can be seasoned and refrigerated, leaving only cooking, breading, and saucing on the day. You can make the ground beef the day of and just add it to the cheese dip. But if you're like me and wait to the last minute, make sure to start around 3.30.